What's up guys, J.R. Raymond back again, and I've just got a quick tidbit for you. We're actually gonna talk a little bit about a video we did before about how to increase your ball speed by using your legs. Now, some people say that hasn't worked for them, and I'm gonna explain why it makes it possible for it to not work when I return. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, check out the new shirt designs we have over at Lifestractioncontrol.com. We've got your rise and grind. We've got your still grinding and your always grinding. Now we're always trying to do something different and give you guys a way to represent uh, as bowlers, as people who are constantly trying to get better. There's a reason why we're watching these videos is we're always trying to get better. We're always grinding. We're constantly trying to do the things to get better at the game. So we're going to represent that with these shirts. So head over to Lifestractioncontrol.com and get yours today. All right, guys, welcome back. So I did a video not too long ago about ball speed and engaging your legs, making sure your legs are the are the, the factor of what's creating ball speed for you. Because we should know by now that legs, not upper body and arm strength, is what creates ball speed. So in order to increase ball speed, we have to increase our foot speed to the follow line, which will increase our momentum and make our swing a little bit faster, which then will bring the ball faster and make the ball travel faster down the lane. Now I've gotten some comments, I've gotten some messages from people that say, man, this just ain't working for me. Uh, I've got my feet as slow as I possibly can, uh, and yet my ball is still 19, 20 miles an hour. I can't get it to slow down. Well, the reason for that is because you're engaging too much muscle in your arm, your back, your upper body. You're engaging too much upper body muscle to throw that ball down the lane. You are literally throwing the ball rather than rolling the ball and letting your legs take over with the power. So what you need to try to do is you need to try to get rid of the muscle engagement from the shoulder, the bicep, the forearm, the wrist, the back, the upper shoulders. Everything needs to disengage as much as possible and free up a little bit in order for you to be able to slow down or speed up uh, whichever way you want to go. Uh, free that up and you'll be able to allow your legs to dictate your ball speed rather than your arm whipping back and forth hard trying to pull through. So one technique you can do is to make sure you really think about the top of the swing. When the ball gets to the top of the swing, see if you can really focus on just letting it fall from the top of the swing rather than pulling it down. Because when you pull it down, it, you're pulling it into a different part of the slot or a different part of your swing, and it's making it inconsistent and increasing the ball speed from that as well. So what you want to do is just let it fall from the top of the swing rather than pulling it down at the top of the swing. The other thing you really need to do is you need to go to the foul line. You need to stand at the foul line and do the no-step drill that I talked about earlier with a drill uh, I posted on the, on the YouTube, YouTube channel. You need to go to the foul line and swing the ball and make sure you're swinging it without engaging any different muscles there. So disengage those muscles and allow yourself to be nice and free. You know, and then once you do the no step drill at the foul line, you can take a step back and do a one step. You're going to swing the ball. And again, when it gets to the top of the swing, don't pull it. Just let it fall. Take a step and then just let your arm or let your arm be free and, and clear and just let the ball kind of flow through. And then just keep backing up, going to the four step. It's the modified four step drill. Back up. You're going to start with the ball by your side. There's a couple links here I'm going to put up here for you so you can see those drills. But put the ball by your side and walk to the foul line with the ball by your side and swinging uh, slightly by your side so that way you can free up those muscles, not engage those muscles. But that is the key reason why you have a hard time slowing down is if you're using too much upper body and arm strength to throw the bowling ball. Now, obviously, you're going to use a little bit um, because that's just your core taking place. Now, the most important parts are your core and your legs. The core and your legs are what keep your balance and stability there, and their legs create the power. The core keeps the stability and keeps it from keeps you from having to use your arm so much. So if you feel like you have a weak core, then maybe you need to do some core exercises, or if you have weak legs, you need to go do some leg exercises. Eventually, I'm going to post some videos with some different types of exercises that we do to increase these parts of our bodies to make them stronger specifically for bowling but for now go do some of these drills see if it'll help you out a little bit see if you can't decrease your speed by freeing up your swing and increase your swing your, your speed by freeing up your swing and also getting your feet to be a little bit faster or slower vice versa however you want to do it so hope this helps make sure to go check out those other videos that i linked in here uh, but until next time guys we'll see you guys later take care